Welcome back guys to the Game So Bird Room. Game Zone. Bird Room. Game Zone. Game Zone. Bird Room. And it's not the Game Zone Bird Room without these sleepy guys. Oh, look at them. Bless them. They've had an hard day. So what am I reviewing today, guys? Headhunter for the Sega Dreamcast. So here it is, guys. Headhunter for the Sega Dreamcast. Bought this and a few other games from my very good friend Chris from Retro Console UK. Check out his channel, guys. I'll leave a link below. He has a lot of great retro games for sale. He ships anywhere in the UK. Very fast deliveries. And it's a really good friendly service. Remember to like and subscribe to his channel. This is why I love the VUM, the virtual memory unit, that little image inside the control pad. Brilliant stuff. Way before Nintendo Wii U. So the head of the game, so you got great stuff. The game was released in November 2001, developed by Muse, which was a Swedish company, and published by Sega. At the time, it was a Dreamcast exclusive, but it was later ported to the PlayStation 2. So this chap is you, you played a part of Jack Wade. A proper Chuck Norris look-alike. He's a renegade headhunter who must embark on a mission of truth and justice, also regaining his lost memory along the way. Oh, I see. The old amnesia plotline. Very original. Yeah, a lot of movies and games use that sort of uh, storyline, don't they? Memory loss. Don't know why. Lazy writing, maybe. Who knows? Liking the graphics at the moment though. Let's let this play out with some sound for a bit. Subject is conscious. Security, hit the alarm. We have a situation. Subject is dangerous. Close all exits. <laughs>
Who are you? Please, I... I can't remember. Patient's name is Jack Wade. Found unconscious in the parking lot of an industrial park a week ago. In and out of metabolic coma the past three days. Gunshot trauma to the leg. Evidence of some advanced surgery. Surgery? What surgery? And apparent retrograde amnesia. Suggested therapy controlled neural rehab. Mental stimulation. A daughter and a nation say farewell. Christopher Stern, founder and father figure of the ACN, was buried today in Arlington National Cemetery. Among the mourners, distraught Angela Stern was comforted by Alan Sharp, recently elected ACN vice president and Stern's chosen successor. Christopher Stern was far more than a boss to me, and I'm honored to build on the foundations he laid. Decades of criminality have been reversed. Organized crime is in retreat, but we can do much more. Closer cooperation between the ACN and biotech will allow ever greater control over criminals, suspects, and those thinking criminal thoughts. The war is only just beginning. Meanwhile, debate still... Second best. You, you were the best, Wade. Do I know you? Maybe this will jog your memory. Smith & Easton Stimulator, ENP Automatic. Clip size? 10 rounds. Muzzle velocity? 850. Payload? Combined neurostimulants and motor cortex scrambler, producing incapacity and eventual brain death. <laughs> like riding a bike. I'm Chief Frank Hawk, and you, Wade, were my number one headhunter. Eight years, top of the league for six. More captures than the rest of them put together. I'm a regular hero. And now you're fired for life. Sorry, Wade, but it's orders. They don't even tell me why. Times are changing. Maybe if we knew what happened to you... You're asking the wrong guy. That's too bad. You could go independent. You'd have to pass the Layla test, but you'd get a weapon and a VM. Wouldn't give access to classified files, but it'd be a start. Back to school, huh? With an ENP gun in your hand, it could be worse. Contact me when you got your Layla license. I'll help any way I can. Word of warning. You've woken up with quite a few enemies. I wouldn't trust anyone you don't know. And right now, you don't know anyone. When this game was released in 2001, it was set in a not-so-distant future, which was, uh, funny enough, 2019. And I'm playing this game in 2020. I'm so glad the plotline of this game didn't come true. As Jack Wade, you are hired by Angela Stern to hunt down and kill the terrorist who killed her father. A bit like a RPG. You can uh, sort of level up your character by getting various headhunter license. So you get new weapons to carry out your various missions and tasks. So back to the story. Um, officially responsible for law enforcement are the Anti-Crime Network, the ACN organization and their employees. The bounty hunter like headhunters. Whoa, sounds very scary. Uh, in order to prevent damage occurring to the criminals, there was a special firearm made called the Electric Neural Projectile, the, uh, the EMP gun, that fires special bullets which do not damage flesh, but instead emits an electrical charge that causes severe pain in victims, paralyzes muscles, and eventually kills the brain. Ooh, sounds uh, quite painful, doesn't it? <laughs> yeah, it doesn't sound very nice. Not a nice way to die. Criminals are punished for their crimes, not only by serving time in prison, but by having the internal organ surgery removed to benefit the wealthiest people in the city. 
Снова сюда. Your ID card and VM, Agent Wade. Model VM 52X standard issue. Bio recognition chip identifies the user assessing his digital career resume. Access to some information may be restricted. Could be a blessing in disguise. Full operating instructions are in the online database together with all standard briefings. Any questions, check the database. Any problems, give it a whack. Anything else, ask anyone but me. Sign here, here, and here. To collect your other equipment, approach the correct dispenser for your license type and insert your ID card. Note the VM also functions as a cellular phone. Hi, Jack. How's it feel to be licensed again? Like I just graduated kindergarten. You have anything on Fulci yet? You'll be the first to know. Call me when you do. Find him, Jack. Wade, good to see you back in the game. Yeah, but shooting blind. How can I use this thing to get information on past assignments? Sorry, Wade, that stuff's classified. You don't have clearance now you're finished with the ACM. I need to know who the hell I am. What happened to me? What I was working on for Christopher Stern? You said you'd help. Well, best I can do is to give you level one clearance. It'll give access to some of your old files, low security stuff. I'm stepping way out of line here. What I've played of the game so far has been really good, actually. The game is played mainly in the third person perspective. But occasionally it's fixed, like in Resident Evil, the original 3 and Code Veronica. So where the, the angle uh, follows you. So you've got a certain, an certain angle when your character moves just in that space. If that explains it well. Anyway, it's like Resident Evil. So if you know what that game, the original games are like, you know what, it's, you know what I mean. Visually, this, this game in 2001 was, was stunning. You know, almost reaching the, the quality of uh, Shinmu and uh, Resident Evil Co. Veronica. Let's have a look at the city for the moment. Let's go old school by pointing the camera to the TV. Quite a difference in picture quality from HDMI in 480p from S video, which I was recording on my capture card. 
looks totally different. So much nicer. Vibrant colours. Really does look the, uh, the business. Back in the day, this game was regarded as Sega's answer to Metal Gear Solid. I don't think... I, I think that's a disservice, really. Because this is a not more action orientated um, does share some similarities with with that game but uh, it was a massive great big step in graphics wise and storytelling and I think this uh, earned favorable uh, reviews from the critics back in the day I think Eurogamer gave it really high praise, saying it was a, a lot better than the Metal Gear Solid games. I'm not judging, I've only played Metal Gear Solid 5 for the Xbox One, and I thought it was an amazing game. Nice, large open world. Fantastic graphics, good story. But, you know, I can tell, you know, back in the day, this was... This this must have been sort of quite ground groundbreaking. This game is uh, a lot of games moulded in one. It's got puzzles you have to solve, murder mystery, um, obviously stealth. So it's it's a lot of games all in one basically. Another thing, this game was at the time which was quite unique about it was it was uh, open world. Or near enough open world, a bit like uh, Shimu. You didn't have that full freedom, especially in this game, because you're mainly going around the world on your uh, your motorbike, which is pretty cool actually. I do like that aspects of the game. It does handle horrible though. What's the bad bits about this game then? Well, first, as I said. The, the bike is uncontrollable at times. Uh, the camera angle is incredibly frustrating. You go in one direction, you carry it, end up in another, which uh, can make the, uh, the game really hard to play at times. Uh, and Sega, why couldn't you give us twin analog sticks with the, the joypad? Curse you, Sega. Not really, I, I love you, Sega, but yeah, that is... It would have really helped with this game having twin stick. But never mind. Also another thing that annoys me is Jack can easily die. It doesn't take much to kill this man. You know, a couple bullets and that's it. Then you have to restart the level. That's incredibly annoying. Poor old Chuck Norris lookalike. -y. Couple shots, that's it. You're done for round bread, mate. Tough game. Saying that though, I, I'm quite invested in this game. I, I am enjoying it, even though with the clunky controls. Graphically, still very nice to this day. Yeah, it's, it's a good game. I'm enjoying it. I'll let the rest of this level play out. Catch you in a bit, guys.
my final thoughts on a headhunter for the Sega Dreamcast. This game really was ahead of its time in 2001. Uh, it was an all-in-one game, part action, puzzle, mystery, stealth, open world. It was it was many things. Did it get everything right? No, no, it didn't. The control schemes were clunky at best. Uh, the bike uncontrollable. But will this stop you from having a good time? Definitely not. What I've played of the game so far, I'm loving it. Infested in the story. Graphically, it's still very pleasing. It's a good game and it deserves to be in any collector's collection. Anyway, guys, remember, if you enjoyed this, like, subscribe. Take it easy.